Okay, so here we go. I've now got everything in place. Um, as you notice, I've got some AA guns in there, or cannons, whichever you want to call them. They're all in place like that. So the main thing now to do is attach this part onto there so we can proceed with the next step which is detailing the whole ship basically it's going to be a very long and painful process guys I'm afraid now as that attaches onto there like so oh hold well on hold on I can go on after that's good I can go on after I'm just worried about some parts that were like on there which I wasn't aware of. Go along there. Go along there. Like that. That's alright and glued down. And apparently this is supposed to go on like that. Jokes are right. That didn't sound good, what was that? Nothing. I thought something had gone off there, I was like, oh crap. Goes on like okay. Okay, so this ain't exactly a snap together kit. Oh dear. Oh, it's very, very fiddly. This is very, very fiddly. Alright, this side's on here. Glue this part of the side on. The part's in there. Right. That's good. That part's in. There's a massive seam gap along the side here, so that's not a good sign. It's a lot of work this ship is. So I've got a song stuck in my head. Do me mad? Sabaton. Told it here for a while. Is there anything I can do to climb it together? Hold on. Let's have a look. Yeah. Alright, that's good, that's that side on for now. Oh, it's coming along together nicely. You're still recording, that's good. Oh blimey, it's got a heavy thing this is now. Heavy thing this is now. Yes, that's that sided. That wasn't good. Oh, this is gonna be fun now. We've got to basically it's because it's on an angle. This side's down while this side's up. That's a 
So the main thing is to glue the middle, let it dry, then glue these two ends down. I think you can see that side. Oh dear, I'm trying not to catch the wires. This is very, very difficult. Mm, I know it's not a good fit, but it's very, very nice to build. Let's turn this around then. Why is there only one? Why is there only two clamps? I thought I just hate it when tools go missing. It's not fair. That's not fair. That's not funny. Come on. Two seconds. Okay, while you're away, I finished the thing off. Um, I couldn't find any more clamps, so that'll do. The only problem I have is this side and that side putting in, of course, the two fronts. So I think what we're going to do is let this dry completely and see what happens in the long run because it's it's going to take a while to dry anyway so leave this dry overnight that should be all good for next time I come to the bench hopefully very soon so again thank you for watching guys and uh, farewell so now everything's done with the mainly the building process of the kit we can actually now get along to um, spraying it. This is going to be very very interesting. As well as um, the kit here, uh, I just want to talk about this kit for a minute. It's, I've actually enjoyed it so far and there's only been complications with putting this top bit to the bottom. That's about it. The railings are all fitted so that's good. The, this important thing before painting. Uh, there's still a lot of detail to do to this kit, so um, that's going to be interesting again. I'm also going to be spraying some parts on the sprue, like uh, some gun pods and stuff like that, so then we can, like, you know, basically just make it easier for everyone. So, what we're going to be using is nice nice airbrush it I've actually made got it working again like here I'm so afraid now what we go use is a mix of XF7 with a bit of thinner I'm using it straight out of the bottle basically well not straight out of the bottle with a bit of thinner and and that'll do for now something like that uh, so that, I've actually like made it a bit better. It's coming out in a nice flow. Um, it's not too thick, not too thin. So we go get a nice flow of it, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this in time lapse. Or oh, hold on, no, 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 no. no. Uh, actually, no, I'll leave it. This. I don't know, can you see that for me from there? No, you cannot. Let me pull you up a bit. Something like that. There you go. Hopefully you can will see this bit better. I've got to be careful across here because this is where the bottom joints up along here. If you I want to point out if you are building on a big scale then I would recommend an airbrush like this for you beginners because it can basically be so much easier for you and 
it gives it a better effect. Uh, so, you know, if you want to get an airbrush, uh, it may basically be the starter pack for the Airfix ones. That's one I got for like the first impressions. But if you just want to go straight in, and I highly recommend these ones, uh, I got these off eBay from a company. I don't know what company they are, it doesn't say. But they're really good airbrushes. Some of the modelers have got some of these. And they're, they're really handy. Just, just by that you can see what, how the effect of it is done across here. I, I really need to get some better light in this garage. It's, see, I do different locations, you see. I do the spraying and that lot in the garage because uh, all the fumes given off isn't isn't like a good nice smell so I do all the like the different spraying parts in here out the way of the smell it's it's all right but I would, would prefer to do it inside but obviously I can't because again the fumes and plus um, sadly my grandmother is ill so that's yeah so uh, I, don't, I don't want to get her any better basically from the fume smell or stuff like that Oh, that, so yeah, that's come out a very nice colour. I've actually, I've really, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest with you now, ladies and gentlemen. I've really, really enjoyed this. Um, after building this, I think I should start building ships because, you know, we do have the most powerful navy in the world, us British. So, no offence, other countries, but we do. Corden. Yeah, so I think I think uh, sorry about that. I went into a bit of a quiet moment as I normally do. So I think um, we do. I think I do need to build some better ships and stuff like that. Um, I'd love to get, as I said in my last update, I'd love to get Yamato and um, basically big big battleships, basically that have a very nice part. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. So what we're doing is trying to get inside the funnel as well because it gives it a bit of detail down there. That fly just hovers by just as I'm spraying. Hmm, that's come out really nice. 
What was that? Oh, just that. I think what I'm going to do, guys, save time for you. I'm just going to kick into a time lapse mode and hopefully it'll be better for you. So, yeah, it should be easy for you. And I'll come back um, after I've sprayed everything. 